afternoon and welcome to the room that has been called the Kenya pile for far too long. I have essentially been collecting and taking stuff out my wardrobe. For those who don't know, I'm going to Kenya on Friday, the 1st of April. I'm so excited. I'm blah. I don't like to think about it too much because I'm still like, there's a chance. There's a chance that COVID is going to ruin everything. Um, but yes, I am going to Kenya on Friday. Um, oh, the Kenya chat is going. Um, it's like a group trip with a company called We're Next Escapes. So I'm going for 10 days and I'm so excited. But I mentioned to you that I have bought a few new things and then otherwise things have just been like in my wardrobe. And I was going to just film me packing because I'm just so into vlogs these days and just like chatting and stuff like that. So essentially this room was just like covered in my stuff and Adam's stuff. It was just everywhere like everywhere um but i have sus sus since stuffed it all into the suitcases it's not packed it's not done in any kind of logical way whatsoever everything was just like put in because it was a disaster like it was a disaster oh my god see that light that's a light but i only saw the like the dark part in the middle and i thought it was a tarantula on the wall i thought that was a tarantula on the wall anyway Let's recollect ourselves. <laughs> I hate spiders. Um, yes, yeah, so everything's just like stuffed in the case. So I'm going to like unstuff it and actually sort it and see what I'm taking, what I'm not taking, and just show you guys a few bits and bobs. I'm not going to try everything on because who wants to see that really? But all my kind of newer things, I think I will um, because there's stuff I haven't even tried on yet and I don't even know if it's suitable. So this is a chill vlog. You chill. I'm probably not going to leave this room. Here is my suitcase and everything inside of it um and yeah so here we go um i may need to sort through this first and have something going on because it's going to be a mess don't mind me but i'll drink my raspberry leaf tea which i'm hoping sorts out my skin <laughs> because i'm having a breakout right i've decided what i'm going to show you because i need to try this on i think we'll start we'll start with shoes so I am not a fashionable person. I just, I don't have clue. I am not a fashionista or like a fashion blogger or anything like that. That's kind of my nighttime stuff, I'm hoping. Um, I'm not gonna try that on. So we're gonna just ignore the fact that's hanging there. So I shopped at three places. Princess Polly, four places. Princess Polly, Misguided, ASOS and Shein. Now I said in my last videos, I do not want to shop in Shein because it's obviously not, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not too ethical and things like that. I really don't want to shop on it, but I was telling you that I was struggling for bikinis. And unfortunately, that is one of the places that I've tried bikinis and they just match my body shape perfectly. And I really, really struggle with bikinis. So I did get a bikini off of Shein, but that's all we got. We're not going crazy and buying the full website. Because when you get on there, it then is tempting to just be like, everything's so cheap and blah, 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 blah. Um, but we kept it to bikinis. So, I'm going to start with the shoes. I got these off of Princess Polly. These green, like, sandal things, I take it, I guess. I don't know what you'd call them. Um, platformy sandal things. There's a lot of green in the wardrobe, so I wanted green shoes. Pretty much, I'm taking the Converse. I'm taking flip-flops. And I'm taking... I'm gonna take my trainer trainer. I'll take trainers for the gym because I think we can work out over there. But then these are like nicer sandals, and then I'm also gonna take one pair of heels. Um this all sounds like a lot. And then I got trainers, like kind of chunky trainers. My sister hates them, hates these. She saw them and she was like, oh my god, do not my sister literally said I'm not allowed to shop until she's approved things because my sister's really fashionable and I'm really not. You know, and she just looks at me sometimes and thinks, why did you think that was a good idea to buy that? Um, so I got chunky trainers. These are actually top man, top shop, sorry. Um, but I wanted chunky trainers for when you're wearing shorts because I'm short. And my legs are short. I'm going to sneeze. Am I? Am I not? No. Um, you know, I like to wear shorts and if on holiday and I have short legs and if I wear flat shoes I look two foot two so I wanted chunky trainers just to kind of elongate my legs a wee bit so that's what they are um there so I think I'm going to go through well I'll show you this swimming costume I got off of ASOS is reclaimed vintage um basically I don't actually know entirely what that brand is but I know I think they recycle a lot of stuff um but basically they sold it to me the way the women had modeled it on 
ASOS, like she had this on, she had like a white shirt over it, she had this headscarf and big earrings and I was like, she is an Instagram superstar and I want to be an Instagram superstar so I fell for the marketing and I got this. I won't even wear a swimming costume like swimming or anything, I literally just bought it. But I do think it's quite thick so I think you could wear it with shorts as an outfit as well so it's going to double as like an actual top. We thinks. We thinks. So I'm just going to put things back in that I've shown you because I'm going to end up getting myself confused. Um, so this is the bikini. I posted a picture on this on Instagram the other day. Um, this is the Shein bikini. It's just a kind of... It's actually a three piece so the bikini is kind of rushed, rushed. I will insert the picture so you can see. Um, that's the bikini and it comes with this like sheer skirt over it. So, but moving on. Um, I think I'll go through this Princess Polly stuff because I've not tried it on yet and I must try it on. So I basically just got this big oversized t-shirt. Do I need to try this on? I don't think I do. Um, kind of for just like around the pool, you know, if it's warm, um, putting it over a bikini, stuff like that. Um, because I'm probably gonna burn and we'll need to be that person that's like really white with sun cream and then wearing their t-shirt in the pool and all that kind of stuff like I did as a child. I didn't even burn as a child, I actually tanned as a child, but my mum was like, get a t-shirt on, or you're going to die. So I got this play suit from Princess Polly as well. What size did I get? Australian size 6. Is that a UK size 6? Because that's going to be small. Um, and it's just this kind of, is it tan? It's not even tan, it's kind of cream, tan, stone colour. I'm going to try this on because I have no idea if this is even going to fit me. Um, I also scrubbed all my fake tan off so I'm trying everything on very pale. So we're just going to have to go with that because it's what we've got. So we're going to try this on um, and I'll have a, um, do you know what, I might as well show you the green dress at the same time and I'll try them both on. I do have a dress similar to this but it's all burst and I loved it. So I got a kind of replica Princess Polly um, and it ties across the back like so. So I'm going to try both these on. And I'll give you a little fashion show. Okay, this is a no. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is supposed to be doing here. It has adjustable straps, but I don't think it's going to do too much. I just, this is really washed out looking. Why is this so bright? Um, I just think it's really not flattering my body shape in any way whatsoever. Like, that is horrible. <laughs> um, that is going to get returned. I will try on the green dress instead because this is, um, that's horrible. I'm having a hard time here. This is much nicer, this dress, but there's nobody here and I need this tied, like, this part needs to be tied tighter to keep the sleeves up because otherwise the sleeves keep falling down, but I do think this is much better. Like, this is going to be annoying. Adam is on his way home, but I need him <laughs> to try it just now. Um, so this is a possible yes, but I can't decide until he comes home and ties it, um, which is annoying. You will know by the time I go to Kenya if I post a photo in this that it was a yes but for now um i can't tie it i wonder if i could just pull it because i think it's nice why is it so difficult why is buying clothes so difficult i honestly thought do you do this do you just buy a bunch of stuff and think oh that's all going to be perfect and then you wait till two days before you go on holiday to try it on and then none of it's any good that is what we're dealing with right now um okay let's move away <laughs> from this i think i'll actually show you i'm going to show you this so I have two really like fancy dresses that I kind of, whoa, um, maybe if I pull this blind down, this lighting is going so bad in this video. Um, I have two dresses that are like fancier that I kind of splurged on, I say splurged on, they were maybe about £80 each, which I never spent that much on dresses. Um, this one is, is it Meshki? Is it Meshki? Oh, <laughs> nearly flashed my boobies. I'm not entirely sure. No, it's Poster Girl. That's what it is. That Poster Girl brand that, you know, the dresses come and they're like doll sized, but they stretch to like any size or something like that. So it's a bit risky, you know, it's got this thing up the side. I think I'll try this one on and show you it. I wasn't going to try these dresses on. I wanted to save them for like Instagram photos, but we're here. We're here now. And the other dress was from I Am Gia, which I probably won't try that on because it's a farce to get into. So I'll try this one on. Okay, this dress is very like risky um i need to put a brown underneath this of some description on nipple covers or something but it's like all cut out here as you can see it's all um like fringy and then it's got like this up the side 
Which I'm going to have to work out if I can put like nude shorts or something on because I'm not entirely sure if you can see my butt or not, you know? So, I mean, Sarah Fittardo posted a picture on it and I thought I must have that dress and now that it's come, I'm like, I'm too shy <laughs> to wear this dress. Um, I'm just going to do this just now. What do we think? What do we think? Honestly, I think it's going to look much better when I'm tanned and it's maybe on the beach and it's more like, oh, my light more confidant because right now i don't feel very confidant um in it so there's that but the other dress i did get was from a brand called i am gia and it basically goes across like this and this and then it comes with a body chain but i'm gonna save this one for when i am away and you'll just have to follow me on instagram or hope that i vlog a lot <laughs> in kenya and show you in video form so these are my fancier splurgy dresses that I don't even know if I've got the confidence to wear, to be perfectly honest. What I do want to wear is this. I'm so excited. I haven't tried it on. Like, this is the kind of clothing I will feel my best in. Ta-da! <laughs> That's the one I want. I also got a cool hat. Um, wait till I find it. Uh, where is it? It says, take me on holiday. See that outfit? 10 out of 10 comfort level, confidence level, we're there. <laughs> I was walking around in this all day instead. Kenya, here we come. Oh my god, I look like a giant kid version of myself. Like this is what I looked like as a child, but now as a 28 year old version. Catch me in the pool with my t on. <laughs> okay, moving on, next kind of section of clothing is I wanted a couple of shirts. See like just really chill, wavy, loose, wavy? Just like loose shirts. So I saw this one on ASOS that I kind of want to wear as like a shirt dress. I have nude shorts on just now, but I don't know what kind of shorts I'm actually going to wear. Um, but just with like a big pair of like really, really skinny high heels. Probably have like a bun situation and then like big earrings or something. Honestly, I don't know what the vibe in Kenya is going to be. Probably everyone's going to be dressing really, really casual. And then I'm trying to be a fashionista um, with my shirt. I don't know what the purpose of this is. I don't know if you're supposed to tie it or if it's supposed to look like you're wearing like you know that way when a guy has a shirt on and then does his tie and it's 10 times hotter than when the tie's actually done maybe that's what that's supposed to be but i don't know but the plan is really kind of skinny heels the shirt big earrings a bun woo, flashing the boobs that's the plan so this was asos i don't know what the lighting's like in here at all for this video um so i've got this i got a green one and then I have like a kind of silky white two-piece. Yeah. Oh, the shorts. So the shorts, like denim shorts that I wear um, are from Fit Jeans. Fit Jeans are absolutely, hands down, the best jeans, the best shorts. They're just quite simple looking. There's nothing too fancy about them. But they hug your bum and legs and waist like there's no tomorrow. So maybe I'll just throw them on top of this just now so you can see... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. We're in. Woo -hoo! We are in. So I've got shorts on underneath so they're not really sitting properly. But yes, these are just like the best shorts. And all my jeans that I wear all the time on social media are fit jeans as well. So shout out to them. That is not done. <laughs> oh well. Right, moving on. I think I will show you my two-piece suit. Okay, so this isn't the top I'd wear underneath, but I've just put on like a wee brown Gymshark top just now. Um, but just imagine like a beachy dinner day event thing with an all white. This is me thinking I'm sunburned and I have to cover every inch of my body <laughs> from any more heat. So this is the vibe. I love it. I do feel I'm going to wear this outfit too many times because it's too comfy. Um, I think your green shoes could be so ideal with this. Maybe I'll video in the mirror because the angles here are shocking. But remember, the room's a mess. We're just going to do this instead. You know, you could do like your green shoes, maybe a green top rather than the brown one. Um, and yeah, you've just got a kind of casual, beachy look. Um, 
I also got these shorts, so this this is misguided, and I got these shorts from misguided. They are a bit pajama looking, but I also really do like them as well. I think I'll try them on quickly to show you, and maybe we'll just call it quits there because that's been it's been a very long video for very few outfits. <laughs> so yeah, a bit like your kind of grandas boxers, but obviously if you had a different top on. I feel like just during the day would be just just cash, but you know, I'm going to show you a fake tan I got because. So this is the problem. I don't like wearing fake tan on holiday because I want to actually absorb the sun. But I don't really tan. Thus, I need to use self-tan. So the tan I'm going to use, I'm going to use an instant one that washes off. And it's the Vita Librata brand. It is glorious. It's called Body Blur. I'm going to find it and I'm going to show you it. So this is the tan that I'm talking about. However, I just realised I bought it in the colour light by accident. I'm going to go and get it in the medium instead, switch it over. But it's body makeup with tan. So it's basically, it smooths everything out in your body. Like you look photoshopped flawlessly smooth um and it's does that only go up to there oh an absolute rip off that was 30 pound um and it's a tan so i put this on for like you know taking pictures and bikinis and things like that it's a really 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 vain reason but i need it i've not even taken this thing off my light for anyone who wants to know what this light is it's b &M and it was 20 pounds <laughs> Um, but I think I'll call this quits guys, thank you guys for watching, next video I will be in Kenya, there might be one more video before then, there might be one more video before then actually, and then Kenya vlogs will start, so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.